Hello, my name is Michael Ellis, and uh, I'm going to give you a little introduction today to our video on focused healing. Um, focused healing is used in a lot of different dog training disciplines for competitive healing, uh, in uh, AKC obedience, CKC obedience, Schutzen, a variety of those endeavors, uh, PSA, potentially in modern ring sports if. Uh, if you, uh, handler wanted to. And also, just a, a, a very precise and clear way of teaching your dog to maintain a consistent position in relation to your body uh, by focusing on you, uh, which has useful applications for a lot of different dog training disciplines. Over the course of this video, hopefully we'll be able to break down all the steps of our system of training uh, focused healing. And there are a variety of steps. Uh, we break a lot of uh, our healing work and a lot of our obedience work into um, separate pieces, teach the pieces separately, and bring them together. So we're gonna start this video with uh, what we call uh, pre-healing muscle memory work, the kind of work you do with puppies. Uh, we're gonna take on into stationary focus and then moving focus. We're gonna teach the dogs how to use uh, move with leash pressure so that we can use the leash to refine position. Uh, we're gonna talk about teaching turns, left turns, right turns, and about turns. Uh, we're going to talk about finding the right pace for your dog to move at so your dog looks best. Uh, we'll talk about a variety of different healing styles, depending on the discipline that you want to use, uh, and what looks best or works best for a given kind of dog. We'll talk about some different temperament types in dogs and how they move uh, and what style of healing is best for them. Um, we'll spend a significant amount of our time uh, discussing and focusing on head position and how it affects what the dog does in heel position and how it affects what the rest of their body do in heel position. Um, as a result of teaching this, we'll talk about teaching the finish, uh, coming to heel position as well. Uh, and then finally, we'll talk about how we layer pressure or layer compulsion over our finished healing work uh, to tighten it up if necessary. So some dogs will require more pressure than others in this work. Most of what we're doing here, uh, the initial steps are taught in a reward-based system. But as we go forward, uh, sometimes it's necessary to layer some pressure into the healing. And people would like to know uh, how and when we do that, where it's effective and why, and for what pieces of the healing equation we use that.